Yeah, there's a clip from the Fanica subreddit where it says the title is Bubba Talks on his summer tour dates, right? So this has been a constant point of contention because most people who've got common sense can see that the likely reason why Brennan had to cancel his UK slash Europe slash Ireland whatever fucking tour where he was meant to be coming to Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Manchester, Liverpool, London, Wales, and all this malarkey. He had to cancel last minute. He should be on it right now. was because he didn't sell enough tickets. We know that to be the case, right? Most of the reason why comedians would ever sell tickets is because of ever cancel shows because of tickets you know these comedians don't even cancel shows if they have a wedding if there's a funeral if you know your wife's had a miscarriage they don't leave the tour like they don't leave they don't fuck around with their money when it comes to money and tours like they always go so if a, if a comedian does cancel last minute you know more likely than not the reason why they cancelled cancelled sorry is because they didn't sell enough tickets so with that being said we all kind of agree on that. But for some reason, this guy can't just admit why it didn't go well or just forget about it. You don't need to explain it to people, really, if you don't want to. But also, the, the lies just don't make any sense because we all know why you didn't. But the lies are weird. So the cope is interesting. So out of the blue, they got cancelled. Then he said he was going to reschedule them when fans online pressed him. There's a few actual genuine fans, it looked like, who actually bought tickets who were looking forward to seeing him. And he said he was going to reschedule and re-announce dates, but he didn't. And then suddenly this whole new fucking storyline comes out of the blue where he says, oh, I'm teaching my kid to play baseball. That's why I'm canceling my tour, which is fucking odd, right? Whatever. He wants, to, he wants his kid to become pro. And that's all. His kid wants to become pro, allegedly. you know. And now he wants to kind of help him out. That's why he's canceling the summer tour so he can dedicate his whole summer to helping his kid do fucking baseball. But now the narrative keeps fucking changes as brendan would say and he's now offering up different reasons as to why that's the case and it's all changing in kind of you know in real time it's been really interesting to watch so this person clipped this coach of the final kids subreddit it says papa talks on his summer tour dates so let's flip in get the video up here in bold and clip it here i'm, a, I'm an early bird anyways but um the only time it gets dice is the, the road when i leave on like a thursday and i'm back on a sunday yeah. that's when it gets tough but you've got a lot of dates on the road. Like that's that's where you make your money. Yeah, you know you're you're sharpening. It's a fine balance. You're honing your craft here. You know the comedy store, or wherever, and trying stuff out. But when you go on the road, that's where you're making money. Correct. And my seven year old, he's starting to realize it, but he hates when I leave. But and that's why I always work in the summer, even though it's unless you're like this massive name. Most comics take the summer off because you're competing with like fucking Katy Perry. Like, it's a tough gig, dude. Or you compete with, like, Post Malone or, you know, or Taylor the big, Swift. Yes. The biggest names in the Tours, world yeah. wait for the summer tour. Drake, he's on tour in the summer. So you don't want to compete with that stuff. So a lot of comics take the summer off. I always worked in the summer, always, always, except for this year. I had a big Europe day, uh, tour. I was supposed to be gone for two weeks. But my wife with our third kid coming is sick as shit. Mm. I got to be around the house. So, all right, reschedule it. First mm. time in my life, I went, reschedule it. Mm. <laughs> Reschedule like man, you're supposed to make this so much money. It's not worth it. Reschedule it. You know, so it's a, it's like this fine balance where it's okay to not capitalize on that money and, and sharing the experience with your kids. Like it's all good, man. It's just balance. What's the process look like for finding new material? So I personally think that's a fucking lie because he's never ever shown this level of care and support for his family in every way, shape, or form. There was a period in time I remember. I don't know what tour that was. That was when Chappelle and shit was around. When his wife allegedly had a miscarriage and he never went back home. He never even showed any kind of public support or anything. She was posting all her fucking ordeal on social media, probably oversharing and over respect to give him a bit of credence. She probably wasn't doing a bit too much, but she clearly was going through a traumatic time around the whole thing. And he just kind of kept it moving. You know what I mean? He didn't give a fuck at all when that happened. If anything, I remember the contrast was funny because the wife was like going through the miscarriage on her own. And then he was essentially just in the fucking hot tub with like Big J and Chappelle and a few other people. He didn't care. So this narrative that he's trying to spin now where he's now Mr. Family Man and that's why he's canceling the whole toy is fucking bizarre. Especially when he mentioned it anyway, the whole thing about, oh, the money thing, right? The end bit. That's the real telltale sign that he's lying. Somewhere around here. Let's see. Let's play that one more time. But my wife with our third kid coming is sick as shit. Mm. I got to be around the house. So, all right, reschedule it. First mm. time in my life, I went, reschedule it. Mm. 
reschedule. Like, man, you're supposed to make this so much money. It's not worth it. Reschedule it. So the first time in my life, reschedule it. It's not worth it. Reschedule it. So it just doesn't make any sense. So now the, for the first time ever, because he's making it seem like he would always do this for his family, but it's the first time he's ever done it. Reschedule the show because he's supposed to be going to be supporting these kids. But then he mentions his wife is sick, sick as shit because she's having a, they're having a third. So which is the reason? Is it you're staying because you're, you want your kid to become a famous, oh, sorry, a professional baseball player? Are you staying because your wife's having another kid? Like, to a normal person, that's all admirable. That's what I'm saying. Think about it this way. To a normal person, it's admirable if you decide to take some time off from work to focus on your family. Especially if your partner is, you know, going through a, a, a bad pregnancy or a difficult pregnancy. Sorry, not bad. I'll take that back. But a difficult pregnancy and you want to maybe spend some time with your kids because you're always on the road. It is quite admirable. A lot of comedians, I feel like, take a lot of pride in the fact that they're always on the road. They kind of take a lot of weird sort of pride that they don't get to see their kids grow up and shit. It's really strange. But I guess in their business, to be on the road and selling tickets and, and going on tour, it's a sign that you're actually successful. If you actually spend time at home looking after your kids, picking them up from picking them up to go to school or taking them, dropping off at school, picking them up in the evenings, it actually means you don't have a lot going on. So maybe a lot of these guys tie a lot of their self-worth to, you know, how often they are outside of the home. So I understand it's very complex. I get it. But let's be honest. He wouldn't be in this position doing all this fucking semantics and, you know, bending over backwards trying to explain shit if he just sold tickets normally and everybody else, you know? That's the main issue at hand here. He doesn't sell enough tickets. He probably, you know, tried to prove to himself that he could and fucking, you know, book bigger places and all that shit and it just didn't work out the way it's meant to work out simple as that really just say that and keep it moving but clearly he's keeping up this fucking weird lie and it's gotten worse and worse because now it feels like he's legitimately built this lie on the back of his kids and now the kids are part of the fucking lie so this is a instagram caption from a post brendan put out two days ago with a picture of his son somewhere near a baseball field it looks like and the caption says as follows my entire summer is dedicated to this little dude. His dreams of making his local baseball team. Rescheduled all my comedy touring. Didn't cancel, so don't worry, lols. So I didn't miss one day of baseball camp. My little man finished his camp today. Today he went five for five. Came in second for MVP. Tryouts are in three weeks. Let's go. So it went from him trying to make it to pro to making it for his local baseball team to playing for fun just a minute ago with Phil fucking Bill Bellamy. And now all of a sudden there's trials coming up in three days or three weeks, whatever it may be. Just a weird person. Very, very bizarre. Like this has all been blown out of proportion and made this into a way bigger issue than what it was. If he just would have been honest and just said, hey, um, didn't sell enough tickets. It wasn't, you know, didn't, wasn't financially viable. And because I'd imagine, you know, I'd, I don't really know if I buy into the Unique's point of view. Unique's has got this theory that Brendan is just booking these shows himself. So essentially he's going to these comedy clubs around the country and basically hiring them. And then whatever money he can make on tickets, he makes it, right? But there is no like them booking him sort of thing. He's just booking the venues, whatever. It's comedy places to do stand-up. Cool. I don't really think that's the case. But if that is the case, you can understand why somebody wouldn't want to go on tour to the UK. If you didn't sell enough tickets, it probably is going to cost you more to fly out there and put yourself up, you know? That kind of, it makes sense. Like if you, because those European tours, they're quite costly. So to make them worthwhile, you have to sell a lot of tickets or do a lot of shows to kind of cover your nut because the transatlantic flights and the accommodation and the spending money is going to be crazy, especially if he decides to kind of fly over a photographer or a videographer and shit to do content. It's a lot of fucking outspenditure. So it makes a lot of sense. But will he be honest about it? Of course not. Let's see the fucking comments here. Um, <laughs> saying your son came in second for mvp of a two-week children's league baseball camp might be the craziest lie you've ever told <laughs> cancelled an entire tour because of his eight-year-old kids five-day long summer baseball camp exactly <laughs> so brutal haters are gonna hate fathers are gonna father um you can always make more money the time with kiddos is worth more money than the number in your bank account good for you dude if you believe what he says of course um another one says running with scissor hand says you're not rescheduling another person here says couldn't sell european tour huh another person here says good on you bro only thing we can get back is time with our kids so they believe 
Another person here says, that's what it's all about, man. Awesome post and best of luck to a little man. I've got a seven year old and I do whatever it takes to be there for them every moment I can make those memories. Also, I don't understand. Maybe I'm just a bit weird and naive because I don't have kids. But this fucking um, social media dad of the year shit that he's doing, like what this all about as well? Is that like a trend? Maybe you guys who have friends who have kids or you have kids of your own have seen this. What is this thing with people showing off how they're raising off raising their kids on social is all about what is this what is this we're posting shit what is this all about is this like a weird kind of way to reinvent yourself to make sure people don't say nothing bad about you because you always got your kids in your lap and shit like what is it i find it so bizarre where you're kind of detailing every sort of you know ups and down that you're having with your kid and this shit especially with the glitzy stuff because all the normal kiddie stuff is not being posted on here it's all the cool fun stuff like it's a bit yeah exactly it's dad virtue signaling exactly for space guy don't you find it a bit strange do you guys have friends who do this like young dads and stuff who kind of raise their kids online and oh my god my little man did this he did that he did this it's like bro no one gives a fuck this is part of the reason why I don't have a fucking Facebook. You know what I mean? It's just all your friends doing this sort of shit. Like everyone fucking raising their kids online and wanting praise for it. Like for like having a kid that's still alive and looks fed and shit and doesn't look emancipated. It's like, congrats. Your kid is still alive. Like, what do you want me to do? Um, anyway, continue. Another one says, enjoy every minute during these times. We just wrapped up. Okay, this person is trying shit. Um... Yeah, who saw this coming when the UK tour got cancelled? Good decision. Um, now this is a dad. Great job. Good luck to you. And everyone says, I know the uh, way to go. Best of luck for the tryouts. Sounds like he has the chance. Look at these people that don't know his son calling him fucking T as well. Like fucking cringe. But yeah, some people in the chat or in the comments believe Brendan. Some people don't. Personally, I think it's all a big lie. An unnecessary lie, personally. I think if you didn't sell enough tickets to sell out a European tour when you're a, you know, not as well-known comic as some other people out there, it's not shame, really. It is what it is. It's hard to sell tickets, especially nowadays with the crunch and people's, you know, money isn't going as far as it probably did in the past. It makes sense why people might be able to not be able to splurge out on a ticket to go and see you. It kind of is what it is. Maybe he kind of he overbooked or he, he went, he was a bit too ambitious and booked venues that he clearly was has no business being in at this level just admit it and keep it moving but hey he doesn't like to do that he wants to always kind of protect his image and make it seem like it's one thing so i kind of guess it is what it fucking is